Three good minutes. I hope it's good for you. Uh, today I want to talk about my Uncle Sam. Uh, not your Uncle Sam, uh, that we identify the government, uh, but my Uncle Sam. Tell you about this guy. Way back in the 1950s, the little kid uh, growing up in Modesto, he came to town in a pink and black Cadillac along with uh, my Aunt Ermie. And so they came to stay for a couple of days and all, and he took me to the store to buy something. Well, I had gotten uh, through the family the fact that he might be rich. So we're driving along in a car. So I turned to him, I say, Uncle Sam, I said, are you rich? And he started just laughing his sides out. He says, well, actually, Richard, I have uh, gained some wealth and lost it over and over again in my life. And, you know, right now, if things go well, I might have enough money to live on the rest of my life. So anyway, cut. Then uh, in the 1970s, uh, doing well, they were living in the Bahamas and I went to see them there. And it was at that time that he told me of the story that changed my Uncle Sam's life. Uh, he was a very aggressive uh, businessman down in Atlanta, Georgia. And he was always working, going, going, going all the time, buying, selling, all of this kind of stuff. There was an African-American man who worked with him for 25 years. And uh, one day he came in uh, to work and with a very uh, strange authority said, uh, Mr. Sam, I want you to come out here in the parking lot with me. We need to talk. And he came out to a rock that was sitting there in the parking lot. And he said, Mr. Sam, he says, do you see this rock? He said, uh, you need to make up your mind whether or not you're going to sit on it once in a while and smell the roses, or if you're just going to crash your life on it. Right now I see you crashing your life. And I think you need to look a little bit about sitting on it and contemplating the present moment. And my uncle turned to me and he said, that man with an unusual authority totally changed my life. And I started paying more attention to the things that really count in, in life. And he looked at me and said, you know, ownership means nothing I've found. The greatest gift we have is friendship. I am always thankful for that memory of Uncle Sam and for him sharing the story that uh, I needed to reflect on myself in the busyness and hecticness of life. May we be blessed by all of the stories that have come to us. God blessing us in disguise for us to take the time of the things truly important. May God bless us as we do that.